In this video, I will show you how you can download and install Quant V in 5M. Yo, 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 it's your boy Zeno in the building. And in this video, we're going to be installing Quant V in 5M. So go ahead and visit the link in the description that will lead you towards my Discord server. After you verify yourself, you can go ahead and scroll down until you see links and resources. Go ahead and grab the channel name 5M Graphics and post number five. These will be the links that we will be visiting today. Also, we have a remote installation package that we offer. You can pick a package and we will install everything for you remotely for anyone that's lazy. Let's go ahead and visit the link. So link number three is gonna be the Patreon website. You need to visit it yourself, pay for the files, and then you will be asked to join their Discord. On their Discord, you can download the files. Again, I cannot help you with this. So let's go ahead and visit the first two links. So this is going to be link number one, open for, go ahead and download it. After that, go to script to V and download that also. Now we're going to open up our 5M application data folder and we're going to open up the downloaded files. Okay, we have our 5M application data folder and the downloaded files. Let me just quickly show you how you can find your 5M application data folder. Just search for 5M, uh, click on open file location, right click on it again and hit on open file location again. Here you can double click right here on application data and this is the folder we're in right here so let's start with open 4 go ahead and double click on it it will install it quickly uh, I'm just gonna show you how this works and here you can uh, hit continue and it will install it for you right away I already have it so I don't need to reinstall it so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how that works and after you installed it you can go ahead and open it up first time as an administration administrator right click on it to run as administrator click yes uh, to confirm and now you're going to click on windows right here wait for it to load up and there you go we're going to click on what can i do and set and give permission uh, not everyone will get this notification uh this orange bar here but if you do you have to do it like this then go to tools asi manager click on install install and click on yes to create the mods folder and install it again you can close it down and now you can close this down too then you need your game folder um, that's gonna be right here for me uh, if you don't know how to do that quickly I'm gonna show you that also that's no issue for me go ahead and go to your library on Steam right click on the game and browse browse local files and then we'll open it up there you go that's how easy it is going back to here let's go to the second folder so we did open four now we're going to go to script v go to the bin folder select these two files and drag and drop them right here replace them if they already have it this is the updated version and that's it now we're going to go to the last part and that's quant v itself um you've downloaded You've paid for the subscription, after that you can download it through the Discord. Uh, you'll first get the normal package and in that package you can get the option to uh, download the base mod. That will be the second one. So I've put it already in, uh, in one folder right here. Uh, you'll probably receive two folders. We're going to start by number one. That's right here. You're just going to go ahead and drag and drop this right here in your application data folder. And that's done. So we've done the first one. Then we're going to go to the second one. That's the base mod. We're going to click on install. Install here. 5M app. And you'll here have the mods folder. What you're going to do is you're just going to drag and drop it right here. And that's it. Okay. Then you're going to go back. Back again back one more time and then we're going to go to the number three go ahead and double click on it it will open up automatically open four i'm going to show you a different way if it doesn't open for you all you need to do is let me just close this down so i can actually show you the second way click on windows make sure to turn on edit mode and now you're going to drag this file right here and that that's it you're gonna click on install and then install the mods folder of course click confirm and now it's gonna install so we're practically done there now we can go ahead and install all the optional things let's go to base mod 
and here you have optionals optional presets you can install any of these so it says right here rpf files goes into the mods folder so i'm just gonna go ahead and install brighter lights what else do i want i don't want anything else maybe puddles covering with floor is a mirror I don't, I don't know if that's nice but you can easily just delete it by deleting the file in there let's just wait for this to get done there you go that's done so we can close open floor down let's go to the brighter lights and this we can skip it's only for a different service uh, and it will go in the mods folder so you have to go here and i want very bright lights there you go so if you want anything else here you can just do it the same um, I will keep it like this for this tutorial. Going back, we're going to go to the other optional folder. It's right here. There you go. Uh, here you have more presets that you can get if you want. So I do like this these clouds that they offer now. Um, I'm just going to do the clouds normally. Double click on it again install it in mods folder that's also done go back see if you like something else i like the metallic paint go ahead and install the version you want you can see comparisons right here so it's very easy to pick what whatever you want again install it in the mods folder there you go and that's also done and that's how you can go on the list and see whatever you want Going back, we have the last part. It's going to be this right here. We're going to need number nine to get a reshade. Um, here you have two options. So this option is to enable the NUI option to check it in the 5M settings. Uh, but it will, won't will work for everyone. So you need to test that out. For this tutorial, for that reason, I will do it without it. Uh, this one will go in the plugins folder. Let's go to the plugins folder. And all you need to do is just go ahead and select these and drag and drop them right here. You can replace them if necessary. Um, and there you go. Now what we can do is we can actually go ahead and start up the game 5M. So let's do it. Make sure to watch this video still because we will still be doing some changes. Uh, for the best results, keep watching. Okay, I started up the game. As you can see right away, Reshade is working and EMB by hitting Shift plus Enter on your keyboard is also appearing. Um, going to settings, that's the first thing that you want to do, is make sure to uncheck this right here. Last thing, um, if this is not showing up for you and the Shift Enter is not working for you, go ahead and hit F8. You will get a... Um, code right here that you need to put in your citizen INI file. I'm going to quickly show you guys how to do that. There's going to be a code right here. It's telling you exactly what you would put in. Let me quickly show you guys what I mean. So you'll be going back to the discord. You're going to copy line number four. That's all you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and copy it and you're going to open up the application data folder and here you'll see this file right here all you need to do is go here press the last line enter enter paste it and here you will place the id number that you will have in the f8 menu so i don't have it so i don't need to do it just in case you can just go ahead and close it and save it after you put in your id going forward let's go ahead and connect to a server and see if it's all working and as you can see, it is much shinier. There you have it. We've only installed just not a lot of add-ons, so you can't really check everything out, but that's okay, like the full puddles uh, for the ground if it's raining. Plus we're in the server, so we can't uh, really decide when, uh, when to make it rain. Uh, besides that, let's go ahead and press Shift Enter. That's your EMB menu. Go ahead and make some changes, the ones that you prefer. Uh, not going to show you that and press also the home button. This is uh, the reshade setting. You can skip tutorial if you get that. Go to settings. I always like to change the home button too. And after that, hit escape, escape again and press end again. And that's about it. That being said, we're coming to an end of this video, folks. I would like to thank you all for watching. Please let me know what you think about it. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. 
Thank you all for watching and have a great day.